So tell me a little bit about this project of yours. It sounds incredible. Yeah, so uh, Waita is a, a short film. Um, it's my first short film after graduating um, uh, film school in Israel. Um, and I started with this idea about uh, two and a half years ago um, while I was working on other projects and then the story actually happened to me. Um, most of it, uh, it, in real life, it, it ended up a bit better. Um, but it affected me so much uh, as a person. And I thought that it's a really, really good idea to make a film about it. So I wrote the script and um, I was, I, I was uh, writing the script right after the story happened, like on the same day. Um, and on the same night, I sent it to the Film Foundation to get uh, funds and to make a film. And, and, and it won the, uh, the support. And uh, that's how I started to make this. Uh, that's how this idea uh, became a film. And I said, how would you describe the film? Um, it's, it's a short film about a person that um, finds it, finding his uh, stolen bicycle. And when he will, will, when he think and sure that he will do anything to get it back, uh, he confront um, a refugee that uh, claims now there is own. Um, and then um, things getting uh, complicated. And what would you say was the biggest challenge about making this film? Um, the biggest challenge was definitely to make this film as one shot. This film is 20 minutes um, in continuous uh, one take, one shot. And to make it like that, it was very challenging to, um, to, to create the right rhythm and how to make it uh, as one shot since the camera is going 360 and, and all the crew is there and how to make it uh, um, possible and also how to make it good. And um, that was definitely something that um, was very hard to do, but um, we succeed to do it and, and it's amazing, yeah. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about, about the people starring in the film. How did you choose the actors for the film? So um, in the film, there is few um, characters that represent the African refugees that uh, we have here in Tel Aviv and in Israel. And I chose to use real refugees. So I just went um, and tried to meet these people um, where they work and, and where they live. And I collected them. And they all really, really were excited to do this because they really, really liked the, the image uh, of them that um, uh, come out in this film because not another film that make them be the miserable ones. It make them be there, stands for their um, for their uh, equality, and um, and they really like that. And it was very easy to make them do it because uh, they felt really good with the script. Um, yeah. Nice. And what was your favorite part about filming this? Um, I, I, I'll, I'll go back to the one shot thing uh, because it's so different than to make make a film, you know, to make a, a, a different film. It's like it's it's so unique the way you work. It's you're like editing the film while you shoot it and you and you you know that you won't have a backup on the editing room. So everything getting more intense and more, um, lots of things come, like, like every take uh, bring you lots of adrenaline and, and you just need to be there and, and understand what's good and what's wrong on the, on the real time. 
um, knowing that you can't rescue it the day after. Yeah, I can't even imagine trying to do that. It just seems like one shot is, especially for something like that. I give you so much credit for being able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and how, how long did it take you to film? You took, did you film it all in one day? Is that what you said? I'm trying to figure yeah. out, or did you write yeah. it all in one day? We actually had money to make it only in one day. So we did it in one night, yeah. That is incredible. That's really impressive. You wrote it all and shot it. That that's impressive. I am I, I, blown I away. Wrote, I wrote the script in forty minutes and I shot the film in one night. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. That's real. I would never be able to do that, but I give you a lot of credit for that. Thanks. And are you, are you working on any other projects now? Uh, yeah. So uh, these days, I'm trying to uh, develop. White Eye to a feature film uh, with the same uh, characters, different story, um, but it's also deal with um, a citizen that, con that, that confront um, a refugee and their life path uh, meeting again in the future and bring new reality. Um, and, and another, another uh, feature film that I'm working on, which is like, like a story that happened on my family. Um, so yeah, those two things I'm, I'm developing at the moment. It's incredible. I am very proud. I can't wait to see this one too. I think it's gonna be really great. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And one thing I like to ask people I interview is tell me a fun fact about yourself. Fun fact about myself? Yes. Uh, wow. Um, I guess that when I'm, when I'm, um, uh, I, I guess that I'm just every, every time that I'm in interview or something like that, I'm just thinking that I'm doing everything wrong and, um, uh, I'm, I'm super hard with myself, but then people just tell me that I was fine and it was good. So I guess it's, it's funny that I'm seeing different reality <laughs> when it's about me. But I'm, I'm dealing with reality as a director and I need to be very precise and, uh, but yeah, the dissonance is very funny for me, I think. <laughs> yes, well, for what it's worth, I do think you're doing fine. So <laughs> you're doing it. This is one of my favorite interviews. It's just like, we're ha I'm having so much fun talking to you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and since we're a TV site, what are you watching on TV these days? Um, I just, I just, um, I'm not, I'm not watching that much TV, but um, I guess I was watching uh, lately the TV series on Netflix with uh, the Cecil Hotel, something like that. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I watched that; it was very nice. Uh, but yeah, these days I don't have any time for TV. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm very busy, uh, which is good. Um, so nothing that I, I watched lately. Uh, yeah. Nice. And tell us where we could find your film so everybody could watch. Uh, these days, because the film is um, on the Oscar campaign, so we, we it's not online yet, but um, it, it will be, I guess, very soon. Um, we have our Instagram page, White Eye Official, uh, and there we publish every time that there is screening or festival, that online festival that you can sign in and watch. And um, yeah, um, also updates about uh, when it's going to be free on, on the net. Nice. I cannot wait. And thank you so much for taking the time today. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. No problem. Good luck with everything and talk soon. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Bye.